Hi, YouTube. This is Mr. Titanium, i.e. Richard Wagner. I'm your host, Richard Wagner. Today, we're going to discuss a mistake that saved 500 million lives. Alexander Fleming, in 1928, left a Petri dish with Staphylococcus infection out. It turns out that a leaky pipe dripped water on it. When Alexander Fleming came back from his holiday, he noticed that the contaminated Petri dish didn't have staph. So he went ahead and cultured the mold that was growing on the leaky that was growing on the on the leaky pipe. He then discovered that the mold had antibacterial characteristics and he named the mold penicillin. He then went to, to test the mold and he tested it topically on wounds on, uh, on uh, rabbits, and it was highly effective. However, when he injected it into mice, their brain swelled and died within two hours. In his 1929 paper, he concluded that penicillin was too unstable to be used pharmacolo for, uh, from a pharmaco pharmacological perspective. Ten years later, Ernst Chang and Howard Foray from Oxford University step in. They wind up elucidating the molecular structure. This particular elect, uh, molecular structure, the um, beta-lactam ring, is responsible for being able to destroy the cell wall of bacteria. And this particular beta-lactam ring is the basis behind all modern antibiotics. And what happened was, is that there was a sick child who was dying from meningitis. They gave him the penicillin. Within two days, the child's temperature returned to normal and his life was saved. After that, penicillin became a staple in medical practice. And these three gentlemen won the Nobel Prize, Prize, won the Nobel Prize for Science. Imagine that, winning the Nobel Prize for Science for something that was originally a slovenly mistake. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.